Laney, thank you. As cities across the Piedmont prepare for this snow, so are zoo leaders. Yeah, Steve King is live at the North Carolina Zoo in Asheboro tonight with a look at what's happening there. Of course, Steve, some animals really like it cold, others yeah. really, really don't. That's right. It depends on which animal you are. Right now, North Carolina zoo leaders are monitoring the incoming storm. As of now, the zoo is set to open at its normal time of 9 a.m. tomorrow, but that all could change. The park could close or partially close. Now, zoo leaders say they're not going to make that decision until the last minute. Now, right now, crews are loading up four wheelers with sand and environmentally friendly ice melt to ensure workers and possibly visitors have good traction after the snow falls. If the zoo does close, animal caretakers will still come to work tomorrow and the zoo will provide four wheel drive rides for them to get to the park safely. Animals like African elephants will be given the option to go inside of a warm barn while polar bears will be more than happy to hang out in the snowfall. That's one reason zoo leaders hope to have the park open in some capacity tomorrow. It is a very beautiful park, especially after a snow event. And uh, we do get a lot of picture takers um, out this way that love to come out and see the polar bears in the snow, which is one of my favorites. Um, and they don't get that very often, not natural snow. So to be able to allow the guests to come inside the park and experience what this park can look like in a beautiful scene such as that, that's important to everyone here. Now, as for EMS leaders here in Randolph County, they say they are setting up their emergency communication center right now just in case they need it, and they are bringing in extra staff, including extra 911 dispatchers. They say they'll be monitoring the storm very closely and ready to respond to calls as needed. Reporting live in Asheboro, Steve King, WXII 12 News.